If you in for a good time now, hanging with two crazy motherfuckers. Hooray. Was that sarcasm, Franklin? No. No, not at all. What on earth gave you that idea? You're imagining things, dawg. Couldn't be more happier. Man, shit gotta be around here somewhere. Unless they buried it under the sand, fool. Another brilliant Lamar Davis production. Man, fuck you. Man, get your stupid ass on. Damn, why don't you ask him if he knows the fucking owner? Or better yet, do some skywriting that reads there's a couple niggas here about to boost some cars in case somebody didn't realize. See, what you don't realize is we ain't boosting. This shit is legit business. Legit? Oh, yeah, I forgot, huh? 401ks, tax returns and all? Yeah, right. You the one all pumped up on doing this lick, nigga. I'm getting my money in the hood. I'm straight, fool. I'm cool. You cool? Cool what? Slanging dope and throwing up gang signs? Yeah, right. Whatever, homie. Damn, this nigga must got the baby dick. <laughs> yeah, and all this shit paid for with bad credit. Woo! You want to get whips like this, you got to stay on your credit line. Nigga had to some time over nickels and dimes? I stick to repos, dawg. Up here, through the studio. Let's show these movie people how we do. Oh, we filming shit here, huh? This jump change, how I'm going to knock a bad, grown and sexy bitch if I ain't got a fat peas eye? Who you trying to impress? Your auntie Denise with all that ass, nigga, she got ass. She grown, yeah. She grown into a fucking idiot. Nah, she's sexy. Sexy? Hey, she more like obsessed with sex, nigga. Nah, I'm mad for the penis. That's exactly how I like my women. Nigga, I don't give a shit. It's a reason Simeon pays a couple of mean looking motherfuckers to come repo this shit. We ain't Girl Scouts. <laughs> in your case, I ain't so sure about that. All right, man, look, we go in quiet, in and out, no fucking drama. I'll try, homie, but I'm one loud, dramatic, brass, crazy, greedy, shooter, motherfucker in the back type motherfucker. And you love me for it, nigga. <laughs> That's right, homie. Nothing but love, nigga. You want to drop some notes on that shit? I give you the eyes, homie. You Apache motherfuckers love y'all best, huh? You should go work on one of them reservation casinos. Only they kick your ass off for being a fraudulent imposter, motherfucker. You and all your little racial stereotypes and shit, I find them offensive. I'm very sensitive to your intolerance, my nigga. The bike should be in one of the lockups down here. Should be is the story of your life, asshole. Hey, look, let's keep it smooth, homie. Man, your pussy the only thing that's smooth up in this shit. Man, what exactly did I do in the past life to deserve your stupid ass? This is a routine lick, dawg. Chill. Do them Vagos look routine? This a shady ass alley. Shit, we in Vespucci Beach. We on the wrong side of Vespucci Beach. You should know a block makes a difference. Hey, 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 hold up. Man, ain't this about a bitch? Ain't no motherfucking bike in here, man. No shit, nigga. Oh, no. Hey, nigga, I would've just got my ass beat over a fucking gun fight. Damn, it's a gang of niggas out here. Ooh. They got their whole hood with them. So much full of jib man, work. We really gonna repo after all this bullshit. If this punk get away, we going down, homie. He gonna pin us for all these bodies. And whose fault is that, Mr. 80s action movie body count motherfucker? Don't play the blame game. Just get on this shit. Man, you lost him already. That's a monster fucking bike you riding, stupid. Motherfuckers getting away from him. That's because he's sitting on 140 inches right there, nigga. Oh, shit, Professor, you're right. Man, I said punch it, homie. Nigga, I should punch your ass for kicking that shit off. Bike don't mean nothing, homie. Nigga, that's that Apache blood in me, homie. You ain't lucky I ain't do a flying tomahawk and scalp they motherfucking ass. We can't repo the assets of a dead man, big sitting chief asshole. Insurance papers say they have a locked garage, so you'll need to gain access from inside the house. Man, it's never easy with you, is it, Simi? Do not talk to me about easy, you thief. Oh, my fucking window. And fast. Or I'll put two rounds in the back of your skull and do it myself. Man, you can't be for real. I look like a fucking joke to you. Man, fuck my life, man. Fuck. Look, I'm retired. Ain't you a bit young for the pipe, slippers, and staring at a fucking sunset? Hmm. So what I saw the other day was like when a corpse briefly reanimates itself and terrorizes everyone, right? What you saw the other day was a guy dealing with pests. I guess I never saw myself as just a fucking pest. Well. And today's lesson's all about humility. Tomorrow we'll try a training montage. A training what? Nothing. I was just lost in an 80s movie fantasy. <laughs> yeah, I can see you spend a lot of time there. 
Yeah, as much as I can. Hey, what we about to do? I'm gonna get you close, and you're gonna go board that thing. All right, man, shit. Fuck it, let's do this. All right, I got a piece in the glove box. They give you shit, I'll take them out. All that's cool, man. You shoot with one hand and drive with the other. But my motherfucking concern is, I might miss the jump and fall in fucking trap. You said you wanted to learn from the best. Let's call this lesson number one. I'm about to give up on this shit. We got a plan? Sure. Once I get us up close, you're the boarding party. More like the part of the traffic party. You'll be fine. If anything happens, we got a piece of the glove box. I'll cover you. Oh, yeah, man, fine. Just fucking fine. So you thought of everything, right? Well, you said you want to learn the old right, way of doing it. Hey, this is the old way. Hey, you want me to do this shit? You better get me close, man. For fuck's sake. Remind me not to come to you for carrying it advice. We got a plan? Sure. Once I get us up close, you're the boarding party. More like the falling in traffic party. You'll be fine. If anything happens, I got a piece of the glove box. I'll cover you. Oh, yeah, man, fine. Just fucking fine. So you thought of everything, right? Well, you said you want to learn the old way of doing things. This is the old way. I'm about to give up on this shit. I'm not up here for fun, man. Get me to the damn boat. I like looking at it. Looking? Yeah. You know, I'd come down to the marina, sit on the dock, pour myself a drink, and look at her. Jacqueline. It'd clear my head, you know, let me dream. Jacqueline, huh? Well, maybe you need to do some other shit to fill your time. Dream other dreams, man. Yeah, sure. Whatever. It's Franklin, right? Yeah, Franklin. Or the credit for our guy. The home invader. You know what? Call me what you like, man. Yeah. I, I, no, I, I mean... Man, go easy on your pops, dog. all right? All right, church. <laughs> exactly, man. Oh, so we killing this dude. You wish he was dead. Is that a problem? Shit, dog shit shit in another dog's kennel. Exactly. People been shitting in my kennel for too long. Yeah, fuck him. But was we really trying to pull that dude house off the fucking hill? Hey, we were trying to teach him a fucking lesson. <laughs> now that's an expensive bitch-ass lesson, man. Maybe he'll keep it on the court and out of my wife. Yeah, he not taking no housewives back to that motherfucker. Hey, it's a service to the fucking community. Whew. Hey, thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside sure has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah. Fuck, man, great. My aunt would be very happy, homie. She wants me dead anyway so she can get the fucking house. Hey, I like your dog, homie. Me and Chop got a lot in common. Yo annoying ass. Man, I'm carrying both of y'all asses, homie. Look what I set up. We don't need no hookup, fool. I know these streets. You know these streets. Man, all you know is dime bag hustling, credit card stealing, boosting gas tankers on me. Come on, man. What you trying to be some fucking commodity trader or something? Man, what a long way we come, homie. Fuck you wanna go a long way for? You right here right now, loco. That's cool if you wanna be bending corners on coke and cough syrup all your days. Next time, we going after the motherfucker in the car, all right? All these punk-ass bikes. Man, take Chop, go get that fool. Nigga, you just sitting your ass still with your feet kicked up. Man, that's a dude, Chop. Man, you'll fuck anything. Come on, you horny little motherfucker. You need boot camp or some shit. Hey, if you don't train Chop, he gonna be a lost cause like you, dog. Hello, prayers have been answered well. Hello. I don't want to know. Franklin! What the fuck? <clears throat> I mean, what the hell going on here? Wait a minute. Franklin, what are you doing here? I live here. This half my house, too. So you say? Anyway, Magenta is reinvigorating my femininity. So make yourself scarce, boy. Go. Go. With pleasure. Go. Oh, no, no. Show some respect here, nigga. That man, he couldn't hold down his back. Come on now. Damn, man. I gotta spend my day with another middle-aged fool trying to recapture his youth. What this fool just say? I missed you, dawg. Oh, oh, you missed me, huh? Nah, I ain't missed you. Your ass could've stayed gone for good. So I fucked your girl, mm -hmm. mugged your mom, mm -hmm. and better yet, I ain't thought about your ass in years. Ha, ha, you got jokes now, huh? Hey, but I see you doing well for yourself. Check that on out. Shit, I'm doing just fine. That's what I hear. But I know some sweet boys up in the pen that got bigger balls than you. Oh, you been doing your time looking at sweet boy balls? Oh. Yeah, it's good to have confirmation. This funny fuck. 
You know what, dawg? It's good you back home. Glad you here. Missed you, boy. Damn, you definitely got hit up inside. Hit up? Hey, hey. You got some cans or some shit I don't know about? Nah, homie. We got ourselves a drug deal. Why do I get the feeling it's gonna be one of them deals gone wrong type situations? Now, see, that's that negative attitude Lamar was telling me about, nigga. You ain't getting nowhere thinking like that. The power of positive bullshit. You ought to be clenching your motherfucking vagina muscles with my hunt, nigga. After his bid, it probably need tightening up. This ain't new age shit. It's fact. You get what you get, fool. You been getting dick, but you ain't giving it, huh? Some Mark talk like that to an OG. <laughs> I said lay low after you got clocked. You lay low, motherfucker. That ain't me. I can see that. Fire him up. You going first next time, no fool. <laughs> Shit, nigga. Then we all be dead. Not me, nigga. <laughs> Man, fuck me and get it over with. Cap that last dude, homie. <laughs> Man, I deserve to get put. But if I got to hang you assholes out for this, the game comes first. Oh, it ain't gonna come to that, homie. You all diplomatic and shit. Yeah, he a real fucking diplomat, ain't he? This that peace-talking motherfucker we should have sent to the Middle East. Fuck. No wonder I want to get out of here. No one's stopping you, little homie. All right, you got it down? I got it. Because you use too much gas on these guys, you'll kill them. Well, shit, don't blame me the way these canisters is mixed. Just be careful. <sighs> yeah, okay. Listen, I stuck my neck out for you here. Man, you don't need to tell me that shit again. I got faith in you, F, but you're unproven. Unproven? For real? So I didn't prove myself when I jumped off the back of that yacht on the highway, huh? Hey, I saw you had some grenades on you. Don't throw them instead of the gas bombs. I think I can tell the difference. G crashed this bike, man. That's what happens when you're working with fools. I guess we're all learning on the job. You know you've been employed as a driver. Man, you're supposed to know where you're going. I'll figure it out. Man, I, I, I ain't trying to hear all that shit, man. If the bureau ain't gonna take you to court, them motherfuckers just hustlers anyway. And I ain't finna let no motherfucking cat think he's so motherfucking crazy run me up a tree. Fuck that. Hanging out with old men, ignoring your homies, acting all superior? Your mama will turn over in her grave, boy. Mm -hmm. So you giving me a lecture about not being a good enough gangbanger? Gangs is positive. That's all we got, my nigga. That's our heritage. Ain't nothing positive about your crazy ass. Man, where Denise at? You never told me that you had a sister. I'm Denise, Franklin's housemate. And aunt, my mother's old dried up ass Shut sister. the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! I'm fucking new in town. I'm making friends, all right? Now let's party. Look, I had plans on getting some rest until this clown and my aunt came and fucked that up. My nigga, I just came over here to holler at you about the little thing. We buying weight, homie. Something that'll move us up the food chain, nigga, for real. Not this real in this town, nigga. Particularly where you and stress concern. Fool wanna get butt naked? <laughs> I'll get whatever it takes me, homeboy. Homie's crazy, man. <laughs> so I've heard. Hey, we should, like, race these motherfuckers. We are racing, you idiot. Racing away from the dudes trying to kill us. I mean another time. They got sea shark races. Another spectacular LD fucker. That shit ain't fucked up. We got the grip. You ain't PC'd up in the pen, nigga. We still alive, nigga. But the car's still on us, dog. We had to pump half the ballers on Grove Street. Sound like success to me, motherfucker. Maybe if you hadn't brought that old weird ass fool along, we'd be okay. That weird ass fool, the only reason we ain't carrying a brick of drywall, Mark. Now, I ain't no Mark, homie. I was playing a role. The biggest Mark I know. You gonna lose these cops or what? What you mean on what? I'll hand you over to them and go my way? Oh, snitch ass nigga. Another brilliant move, huh? You for real, man? Yeah, it's easy to talk shit, but somebody gotta pull some moves out here. Yeah, but why the fuck that gotta happen? I figured it out, motherfucker. You bad luck. Nigga, I could be the luckiest motherfucker alive, and you'll still fuck shit up. Nigga, I wish you had bought that brick. Teach your ass a lesson. You think I ain't learning shit right now, nigga? Almost killing the homie is less than enough. Hey, man, tell me why you buying from the fucking ball. Stretch made peace with him. This shit was like cementing a friendship. Some kind of fucking peace? Man, I'm starting to think you enjoying this shit. Man, I don't give a shit about nothing, man. This shit ain't nothing to me. Where's the surrogate child? Who? Uh, the boy. With the stars in his eyes. Not like that. 
What's not like that? Oh, hey. Hey there. Uh, you and him, the old father-son issues? Gives me the fucking creeps. How's the leg rub? Oh, it's excellent. Fuck. You want to go? No, I'm good, though. I'm in charge here, Fruity. Me! You understand? Uh, not quite. Well, can you explain that again? What I was saying! <laughs> oh, you're good. Some of the government, some of it is pretty corrupt. They are? We deal with it. If and when. If and motherfucking when. I'm telling you, 2.7 millimeters. Who the fuck does 2.7? Hey, how about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mom. Whoa, hey, stay in the car there, homeboy. I'll deal with you later. Yeah, fuck you too. Mr. Weston will not discuss matters like this with you on the phone. I'll be your port of call for business concerns. Well, shit, me and your boss ain't gonna have any personal concerns. Hey, Frank. Yeah? What did I tell you, bro? These cars, <laughs> this is an opportunity. Yeah, if you say so. You know what, right before I met you, I was boosting rides and racing. It feels like it come full circle to me. Come on. Nah, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired from my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I be doing. So thanks, dawg. After all the crap we've been through, man, you got me right back where I'll be at anyway. <laughs> hey, look, Devin Weston, he ain't like anyone you worked for before. Man, he runs his mouth, wants me to boost cars, and most likely gonna be paying me a fraction of what they work. It don't sound that different, to be honest. Well, you must know who this guy is. Look him up. He's the real deal. I've seen his house. He can make things happen. So, he like, to you, what you were to me. I see your house. I think this dude can take me places. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. Put up your hands and stand where I can see you. All right, you got me, homie. All right. You know how to work that face recognition shit already? Well, figure it out. Say hello from me to Molly. Man, I ain't hitting on nobody for you, man. Least of all, her. Come on, why not? It's about time I settled down. Shit, man, you need like a lion tamer or some shit. This girl, man, she got balls, dog, but she needs some serious stones to handle your ass. You know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I'll just stick to driving, <laughs> all right? Hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like 10? No, not like 10, man. Exactly 10. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? Tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one day, man? For real. Like this? Or this? Oh, man. Right back at me, homie. Really nice. Maybe this is kind of a revenge thing. I don't know. Let's not forget that I'm the wrong party here. Yeah. You are definitely the wrong party. Oh, for sure. Fucking incredible. I'll tell you what's incredible. Fucking incredible. Hey. You mother... Hey! Why? No! You got me out here. You wrote me into your crazy world of bullshit. If it was lies, new age shit, and arguments about how good life used to be, I could have stayed my ass in Los Santos. Hello, Franklin. What's up? I We're risking our asses. We gotta be family. How about that, die back? Man, fuck you. Oh, fuck. Sense of humor. Hey, let's just do this thing, all right? You okay? I ain't dead yet. I'm on my way. You hear that car fire? That's how I'm doing. Hang in there. Where you at, kid? Listen to the shoot. Here, point ain't tough. We're holding here. It's getting hairy over here. It's hairy over here, too, man. There's a ride. Good kid. Hey, quite a disturbance you caused. Ah, shit. Well, you know me and Trevor. Wherever we go, drama follows. That's why we in prison. Hey, hold on. Our very own corrupt G-Man in training. You gotta be careful, buddy, all right? Because they are uh, looking around these trains for illegals. And if you're mistaken, you'll be shot, amigo. Very amusing. Yeah, if you're expecting them two to bring you up, you're gonna be disappointed, homie. Right back at you. You do your own dirty work. Hey, I do my dirty work every day, keeping the country safe from scum like you. And you're doing a great job, sir. Happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? Had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, 
Getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground that's hard. Look, dawg. Light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserves? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Ah, yeah, Trevor will get it done. Hey, Willie? I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah, well, I ain't pissed off hillbillies, bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army, okay? So there's that. Yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA. And your family, man. You know what? I met Amanda, and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> Point taken. What do you mean, the whip? I could buy this car with what I make in a morning. I think you underestimate. <laughs> Sorry about that. I think you underestimating the value of this automobile. Or overestimating your own talent. Uh, I think you're underestimating what I get paid. You get paid a couple million for a morning's work? Shit, I should sack my agent. Yeah, shit. My parents loved me so much they put me in a little lacy surprise campaign when I was three. Good for you. I didn't work till I was, I didn't work till I was teen. You are so going to get the electric chair. This is more lethal injection, gas chamber kind of state. But thank you. People who hurt celebrities are treated worse than pedophiles in prison, and rightly so. Whatever you say. You're gonna kill me, aren't you? Oh, I'm another sacrifice to the god of celebrity! This ain't a sacrifice. It's a carjacking. Now calm the fuck down. Everyone wants a piece of me. Directors, agents, fans. But you, you've taken the whole thing. This ain't about your ass. It's about this ride. Bullshit, this is about the car. Guess what? When you got that old wrinkle-type, fucked-up, chemical-filled-ass face, yo, yo, this yo. ride will still be beautiful. Damn. I'm getting out! Good luck with that. I'm gonna scratch your fucking eyes out! Scratch my balls! What's cracking? Hey, I jacked the last ride on that list. You ready to go? Shit, I'm ready to get paid, nigga. The boost, homie. How did it go? Any problem? You know me, fool. Yeah, I do know you, fool. So what you think? Smooth as silk. I'm thinking where the blood stains and the bullet holes and shit. Man, fuck. That amateur shit behind me, I'm a professional now, like you and them old dudes. So tell me what happened. I saw the ride, I took the ride. No drama. No security. No one saying, who the fuck is this gangly motherfucker doing in my car? Nothing. That's worrying, man. That's some shady ass shit. Hey, man, chill. It's all right being the boss, meant to be running things, but this fool sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep when your ass stop talking, nigga. Some boss. They must have waited till we was out of town. Uh. Yeah, it looks like it, don't it? Oh, ain't nobody telling you, Omar. Sure. Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now, where the fuck is my money? The best thing that could have happened to you in this situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his Alpha Fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. I boost cars and pop motherfuckers. Maturity is not really my fucking thing. Man, he's angry at your ass. Way more than the normal middle-aged shit that you do. Now, if he wants to have it out, Franklin, I got news for you. He knows where to fucking find me. I saved your ass so you can kill one another? I thought we was in business together, the Union Depository. Yeah, that might have to wait, but you're all right, though. You got that car thing in the meantime. Actually, I don't got the car thing. We got the last ride and Devin Weston stung us on the fucking pay. We put it in an investment fund. Really? Yeah, really. What we gonna fucking do? Hey, look, an investment fund probably ain't the worst idea. I got this other thing with Weston down at the dumpster. We wait to see how that Jesus. plays out. And then we talk to him about your pain. Man, it sounds like I'm getting fucking screwed. We'll deal with it, Franklin. Jesus. 
I still feel like I'm hanging upside down from my ankles. Just just for a while. I'll come up with a plan. Yeah, whatever, man. Alright, then I'll see you. For sure. Hey, you sure you don't want to come in? What, your big empty ass house? Dog, I'm depressed enough already. Alright. Well listen, thanks. Hey, what's the problem, dog? Steve fucking hates. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, fat old fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Period. Yeah, whatever, dawg. It's either this or Dylan dime bags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. Yeah, thanks. Ah, it's cracking. Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless-ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. All right, Lester says these elevators should still be fine. Was he on that industrial strep painkillers or that loose notory weed at the time? Yeah, probably a little bit of both. Cool, dog. Thanks for clearing that shit up. Fuck. All right, this is our way out. We gotta get these doors open. What's up? Hey, give me a hand. Briggs, come on. I see it street level. I fucking hope so. Enjoy the incest juice. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you boys sure know how to put the fun back in midlife crisis. Hey, so what y'all talking about? The internet age. <laughs> the internet age? Oh, yeah. Man, ain't we got a highly defended federal building to fucking rob? Why are you so chipper? Shit, why are you so miserable? Must be an age thing. Great. Now there's something to look forward to. What's the plan again, man? And please, let it involve someone shooting you for being so goddamn miserable. Oh, what is this? Pick on me day? Look, I know I'm a miserable old prick, but give me a break. You and Lester. Shit. So the plan was feeling sorry for your ass, right? I miss Lester saying that shit, for sure. Let's feel sorry for Michael. Rich, white Michael, poor Michael, who robbed banks for 10 years, then got his slate wiped clean. Yeah, yeah. Poor Michaels, whose homies get into shit with the FIB out of the kindness of their own heart, put their necks on the line. Man, where's my get out of jail free car, motherfucker? I'm sorry, okay? You know what, Mike? You a real easy dude to identify with, man. Poor me. Pour me. Man, pour me a drink, nigga. Hey, that was real simple, wasn't it? I'm informed now, dawg. So you want to wallow in some more of your self-pity? Get another free therapy session? Actually, now that you mention it... Hey, fuck you. Honest and angry. This is some of the best mental health work I've done in years. Man, it's gonna cost you, homie. Trust me. You gonna pay for that shit. You ready? Are you, you fucking kidding me? I'm lucky I can even breathe at this altitude, let alone calculate the odds of surviving the jump, landing, fucking firefighter, whatever else blowback there might be. All right, I shouldn't have asked. Fuck. Well, he didn't make it. You sure, man? Because he might be a... Oh. Oh. No, he didn't make it. Oh, you funny, huh, motherfucker? That's it. Gotta go. No shit. Let's get cracking, man. Unless you're feeling at home in this fed building. Hey, you wanna say with Trevor? Feel free. Man, I was just fucking with you, dawg. Let's do this shit. Look, man, he was just messing with y'all. This is great sense of humor. The FIB people who put us up to this, they probably gonna pop him anyway to clean up loose ends. And if they don't, he got a homeboy named Trevor that probably will. That's a good point. I ain't gonna have the time to spend it, so enjoy. Ah, uh, yeah, cool. We can joke about how screwed up your damn life is. Man, you may be a conflicting, hypocritical, self-loafing old bastard, dog, but there's no one else I'd rather rob a federal building with. Me. Amen <laughs> to that. What's up, babe? No, it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. Fuck, man, my whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying a price afterwards. Fuck! Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you and your doctor? Hey, Lamar, it's me! We getting out of here, dog. Oh, 
fancy seeing you here, motherfucker. Yeah, huge coincidence, huh? Come on, man. You gotta be the hardest motherfucker to kill in the city. That's only because of the company I keep, nigga. Don't think I owe you because you turned up to this shit. Nigga, I don't think shit. I'm doing this for my own peace of mind. Slide. Hey, you want enough in the world, huh? I ain't never seen this many motherfuckers want to kill. That's a funky kind of compliment, nigga, even from you. Stretch hit me up. I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the biz ain't. Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was going to parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up, homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white collar crime shit. It ain't shit changed for me, and you ain't helping. Ain't helping? What the fuck you call this? Me, Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help. The unholy fucking trinity. Ballers beware with these fools rolling together. You jealous of Michael and Trevor? What happened to me and you fucking shit up? Form gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called them, right? And I was doing everything in my power to make sure you wasn't black. I can make sure I ain't black. Clearly you can't. You sure Stress knew they was gonna book me? Yeah, nigga Stress knew. Everybody knew Stress knew. Tanisha knew Stress knew, and she don't even come around the fucking hood no more. Man, shit was fun, nigga. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy scrapping like we did back in the day. It ain't back in the day no more, dawg. But it felt like it was. Okay, cool. It was fun saving your useless ass one more fucking time. There you go. That wasn't too hard. You should have seen your face when I came in. You was like, shit, shit, shit. Hey, shit, man. Oh, bullshit, nigga. <laughs> you better check them draws, homie. You probably shit at yourself. Fuck you, man. I don't care if I die. It's a compliment if they send an army after a nigga. They only send like two of the little homies to get you. Nigga, you didn't look like they was paying you no compliment, nigga. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something? Or invade some fucking country? And Franklin? And Franklin what? You gonna keep your mouth shut? Why? Because I've squealed like a bitch so far? Hey, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> you know, bit of heat. A few years back there in the Midwest, and your boy Michael, he changed his name. Well, the way he tell it, it wasn't that clear. Fucking going as soft as that old flaccid boy in your pants. This divorce couldn't come soon enough. Look at it! Yeah! yeah oh, you man! Fuck. Work first, bicker later, man, all right? If we get away with this, if, and it's a big if, man, then I can finally really retire. Watch it, Frank. Michael likes to retire with a very interesting exit strategy. Come on, man. I mean, we just took the biggest score in the history of scores, and you bitches just want to moan. My mama never loved me. My friends never loved me. I'm mad because I'm rich. I'm sad because I'm successful. Man, this shit is pathetic. Hey, Slick, it's me. <laughs> what the fuck do you want? You got my money, punk? Hey, you got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolytes. Damn, it's kind of warm, isn't it? <sighs> man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh, no, bro. Not me. What's the panic, bro? What the fuck do you think? Man, imagine a fucking scenario that will fuck things up the worst. Boy, my mind is just racing. Who wanna clap your homies? Who don't, nigga? These Chinese dudes, some FIB cats, the rich white asshole who scammed us on them cars. Devin Weston? That punk bitch? Why didn't you say we was creeping on him? We ain't creeping on him, nigga. At least I don't think he gonna be there. We gotta take all the heat he can throw at us before we worry about how we coming back on his ass. But you is coming back, right? Oh, hell yeah, we creeping on that fool. Man, every fool in this town got somebody who want to clap. Yeah, but that applies to some fools more than others. I heard that. Nigga, I'm talking about you. Everybody in this town want to take a pop at your ass. He was lining up camping and shit, trying to take a shot at the big chief. Ain't that the truth. But ain't nobody pissed off as many motherfuckers as Michael and Trevor, dawg. Shit, nigga, you play big, you stand to lose. Yeah, ain't that the truth. Our showdown with a private army, and you're bringing a rifle? Yeah, I'm bringing a rifle. It's a good gun. It'll get the job done. Hey, man, what the fuck am I doing risking my ass trying to save y'all ass if you just gonna kill each other? Hey, you're not saving me. You're saving him. Ah, oh, you're saving this fat fuck. Man, y'all gotta keep y'all fucking heads right and end this shit. If not, man, I'll put bullets in both you motherfuckers. 
There you go! It wouldn't be right if I didn't have to save your ass just once. Save me? Nigga, I just wanted some cover. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, looks like we did it. Shit, for now? Yeah, exactly, for now. What about that triad motherfucker? The one that think you two boys is dating? Shit, you know he bound to come back. Yep, there's that. Franklin. Hey, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and so oh. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> All right, then. As, uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. 